Today we're going to use Web API to get back an image. Here's a, a typical use case. I have an image tag whose source is actually pointing at my Web API, whose root is slash image slash get, and then we're going to pass the name of the image that we want to get. In this case, we have a little sample ping that shows its dimensions. Okay, so here's the code for image get. You can see that it's marked as HTTP get. We've set up a route on image get, and we've declared our image get method name, and we're passing in the string image name. And because we're going to be creating our own response object, we're going to have it return HTTP response message. So here we go. We use the request.create response message, and we're going to assume it's okay in this case. So then I have some dummy code that's just going to go and read the image off of disk, but we could be getting the image from Azure Blob Storage or from another service, or we could be creating the image on the fly, depending on what our scenario is. So we'll go ahead in this case and resolve the path to our image. Um, we're going to go get the contents of the file. We're going to convert that to a memory stream. We're going to use the stream we made and pass to the stream content um, helper method, our stream, and we'll use that to populate the content object. Stream content converts a stream to the appropriately formatted content in our response.content object. And lastly, we're going to do a little quick magic to set the content type to the right image. Up here, I went and got the image extension, and we're going to return um, the mind type image slash whatever the extension name is. And that works for almost all images. And then lastly, we're going to return the response. So let's see this in action. And you can see here's my little test page. And here is the image fetched off of disk, but through the web API. And that's pretty much it. Using this technique of returning an HTTP response message, using request.create response, creating a memory creating a stream object and then converting that stream object to content using the stream content helper, and then lastly, setting the MIME type, you can use this to return any file type you want. One important note is it's important to set the header's content type after setting the response.content object. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't seem to work if you reverse those two things.